Gallagher must place the stone into the Guardia. We've seen its work, Horseman. Corruption fared weeps from it. The other two heart stones were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Mayhaps. Khan, the greater risk is to do nothing. Hey. Run wild! He's gone mad, horseman! Idar doesn't know! Valks has been busy. There are new items. Oh, this should go nicely with you. Ah, Val 
Alice will put it to good use. Well, this should go nicely with the others. Ah, Valis will put it to good use. Go nicely with the others. Valis will put it to good use. Nicely with the others. Excellent investment. Can't be the stone bastard. 
Tell me where to find the Guardian. Head to the plains outside the city. And hurry! Adar is waiting for you both. Beyond my help, horseman. Do your worst.
You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the pass to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. <laughs> You won't survive this! I am a maker! That task defines my very purpose, and the reaping of souls defines your own! There is no escaping it! Get to the tree now, horseman. Your journey is far from over.
fought the Guardian with skill and cunning. I suppose you might make a warrior yet. I can end your troubles, Maker. Well, you're welcome to try. This blade is more ancient than you, Ryder. And taller to boot. I will break it, and you, down to size. Surprise you've gone that far! Should never go unrewarded. You got lucky. Mayhaps I am too old to do this. Age isn't everything. So, you can fight an old warrior, but to earn your name, you'll have to do better than that. Bathier, Echidna, Argyll, these are what we makers call death. You kill them all? And mayhaps I will grant you are the true Reaper. Sounds like a challenge. If I'm to be your executioner, I would hear more of those that I'm to kill. I will tell you what I know. Where can I find Baithir? Baithir and her kind once ranged across the Forge Lands, hunting us like cattle as we made this world our home. One by one, we hunted down and slayed the fell beasts. But Baithir. She made herself a deep burrow, and slithers out only to feed. I only know that she's a beast of fire and smoke, and that she's made a lair beneath the earth. What of Gorwood? Once, Gorwood was a friend to my people. Then why seek my aid? Corruption has taken our forest, and Gorwood is a being of that old wood. Where one goes, so goes the other. Gorwood is filthy with corruption. He must be put down. Even I know the name of Kidna. Why do you seek her death? An old debt, forged before your time. All know the Shadow Realm of Echidna. Why do you not travel there and kill her? I have tried, only to find her realm in chaos. The Spider Lords had bathed her throne in blood, and Echidna was nowhere in sight. I spent years following her trail to the realm of the dead. Then, all this happened. I returned home to my people, and left old debts unpaid. Tell me about Argyll. Ah, a madman, a beast in need of killing. I had sight on the deed myself, when the current Lord of Bones rose up and defeated the mad king of the undead. Then Argyll is no more. My bones have always told me otherwise. The old king lives. I'm sure of it.
What do you seek, Pale Rider? The return of mankind. <laughs> to a barren planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. The Pale Rider. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the Tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm, I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the well of souls. The well of souls can restore humanity. And more! The well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. 
You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with Ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten? No. The Nephilim live on in you. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Land? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. Browse hmm. to your heart's content. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. <laughs> he will guide you to the well, <laughs> or he will have your soul. Before you go, Horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin.
I know you'll take good care of it. to use it. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll make good use of this. <laughs> Dust? <laughs> 